at the heart of every poem lies the confection to save souls. Daughters of St. Paul 100 Years of Foundation This Holy Mass is brought to you in collaboration with Ricardo Santiago, Stu and Nancy Santiago, APM Ad and Promo Management, Alex P. Montanez and Family, Anflocor Group of Companies, Ernie and Mercy Evangelista, St. John Paul II College of Davao, Royal Bread House Incorporated, Quilan's Food House, Dimdi Center and Dimdi Builders, Tat and Gigi Coronel and Family, Teresita Villa Brille, T. Lino Trucking Services, iCrafter Optical Incorporated, Davao Durian Laundry Services Company, Chardon, JDB Diversified Incorporated, Consolidated Plywood Industry Incorporated, Davao Bonifacio Motors Incorporated, Melvin E. Aviles, Attorney and Mrs. Ellie Britannia and Family, Friends of Paul Lines, Ampi Casas and Family, Protasio Tacandong, Anonymous, Adolfo and Malu Ato, Pharmacia Quiza, and Davao LB Junk Store. Offering of the Holy Mass, accept most holy trinity, this sacrifice fulfilled at one time by the divine word, and now renewed on this altar through the hands of your priest. I unite myself to the intentions of Jesus Christ, priest and victim, that I may be entirely offered for your glory and for the salvation of all people. Through Jesus Christ, with Jesus Christ and in Jesus Christ, I intend to adore your eternal majesty, to thank your immense goodness, to satisfy your offended justice, and to beseech your mercy for the church, for my dear ones, and for myself. We pray for the intentions of our regular sponsors, choir members, toners, offers, and volunteers of the Holy Mass, especially the sponsoring groups. Bukas Luob Sa Dios Covenant Community, Davao District headed by the District Servant Leaders, Jing and Shoni Abelia, organized by BLD Mission Homestead. Land Transportation Office, Region 11, headed by the Chief of the Finance Division, Jeanette Gunn. Thanksgiving intentions and blessings of Linda Torejos of Natis Lechon House, Ching's Lutung Bahay, Jojo Talatad and family, Jeanette Gunn on her promotion as Chief of the Finance Division of LTO Region 11. Belen and Jaime Utero of BJY Balloons and Party Needs. Birthday intentions of Jeanette Gunn and Marco Chufilo. Success and safe travel of LTO Region 11 delegates to the LTO founding anniversary on April 25 to 29, 2016 at LTO Central Office in Quezon City. Recovery and healing of Jeremy Chu, Rudolfo Estera, Emil Season, Dr. Carlos Tan, and Manuel Sem. For the eternal repose of Luciana, Milagros Villa Abrilie, Cesar Europa, all benefactors of the Pauline's RTV programs, El Pijo and Eric Gunn. Prayer for the sick. Lord and Father, God without end and almighty, through your grace you gave us strength and hope in our weakness. In your mercy touch your sick people, deliver them in their sicknesses, and restore them good health, so that assured of your goodness and love, they will praise and thank you in your holy name. Through Christ our Lord. Amen. Amen. Good morning. Alleluia. Jesus, the Lord, is risen. The tomb stands for many things. Death and failure, defeat, darkness, 
sadness, fear, loss, grief, confusion, desolation, powerlessness. Mary in our gospel today is feeling defeated, exhausted, emotionally and physically from the order of crucif crucifixion. Still paralyzed by fear and confusion and hopelessness, but she rouses herself to loving duty, overcoming lethargy of pain to anoint the body of Jesus. The empty tomb, the risen Lord appears to confirm the disciples in their calling and their mission to proclaim the gospel to the end of the earth. Christ is risen, Alleluia. He is risen indeed. The empty tomb proclaims that the risen Lord is in our midst today, every day, until the end of time. The presider of the Eucharistic celebration is Father Danny Montagna, RCJ, Rogationist Priest. The choir during the Mass is the Bukas Loob Sa Diyos Praise Ministry. Come, let us joyfully celebrate the banquet of love. Please all stand. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Jesus is alive. Alleluia. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. Parang wala sa mukha niyong Happy Easter. O dapat mas malakas. Happy Easter. Happy Easter. That should be our joy because the Lord is risen. We have the Paschal candle that symbolizes that light and no more darkness for us. And so for that, palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon for this wonderful mystery. <laughs> to our brothers and sisters at home who are sick and the elderly could not go to Mass, our oneness with you as well as spiritual prayer, truly with you we all hope for this resurrection. We rediscover the beauty and the greatness of Christ's mystery. And therefore upon you is the Lord who is alive. And so, my dear brothers and sisters, as we prepare to celebrate the mysteries of the love of God, we now pause for a while, acknowledge our sins, and ask the mercy of the Father. I confess to Almighty God, and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts, in my words, in what I have done, in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask, Blessed Mary, ever virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, 
to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen.
pray O God who in this day the only begotten son of conquered death and unlocked for us the path to eternity grant we pray that we who keep the solemnity of the Lord's resurrection may through the renewal brought by your spirit rise up in the light of life through our Lord Jesus Christ your son who lives and reigns within the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever. Amen. The resurrection of Jesus is the heart of the earliest Christian kerygma, that is, the public announcement of God's salvation through Jesus' victory over death. The first reading from the Acts of the Apostles. Peter proceeded to speak and said, You know what has happened all over Judea, beginning in Galilee after the baptism that John preached, how God anointed Jesus of Nazareth with the Holy Spirit and power. He went about doing good and healing all those oppressed by the devil for God was with him. We are witnesses of all that he did, both in the country of the Jews and in Jerusalem. They put him to death by hanging him on a tree. This man God raised on the third day and granted that he be visible, not to all the people, but to us, the witnesses chosen by God in advance who ate and drank with him after he rose from the dead. He commissioned us to preach to the people and testify that he is the one appointed by God as judge of the living and the dead. To him, all the prophets bear witness that everyone who believes in him will receive forgiveness of sins through his name the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. <laughs> this is the day the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad. the Lord for he is good for his mercy endures forever let the house of Israel say his mercy endures forever this is the day the Lord has made hand of the Lord has struck with power. The right hand of the Lord is exalted. I shall not die but live and declare the works of the Lord. This is the day the Lord has made. Christ's resurrection challenges the Christian to die to his corrupt and wicked ways and rise as a new person, sincere and faithful. The second reading. 
from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, do you know that a little yeast live in all the dough? Clear out the old yeast so that you may become a fresh batch of dough inasmuch as you are unleavened. For our Paschal Lamb, Christ, has been sacrificed. Therefore, let us celebrate the feast, not with the old yeast, the yeast of malice and wickedness, but with the unleavened bread of sincerity and truth. The Word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Please stand. Christians, to the Paschal victim, offer your thankful praises. A lamb the sheep redeems. Christ, who only is sinless, reconciles sinners to the Father. Death and life have contended in that combat stupendous. The Prince of Life who died reigns immortal. Speak, Mary, declaring what you saw, wayfaring. The tomb of Christ who is living the glory of Jesus' resurrection. Bright angels attesting, the shroud and napkin resting. Yes, Christ my hope is arisen, to Galilee he goes before you. Christ indeed from death is risen, our new life obtaining. Have mercy, Victor King, ever reigning. Amen, Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory to you, O Lord. On the first day of the week, Mary of Magdala came to the tomb early in the morning, while it was still dark, and saw the stone removed from the tomb. So she ran and went to Simon Peter, and to the other disciple whom Jesus loved, and told them, They have taken the Lord from the tomb, and we don't know where they put him. So Peter and the other disciple ran faster, went out and came to the tomb. They both ran, but the other disciple ran faster than Peter and arrived in the tomb first. He bent down and saw the burial clothes there, but did not go in. When Simon Peter arrived after him, he went into the tomb and saw the burial clothes there. And the cloth that had covered his head, with the burial clothes that rolled up to a separate place. Then the other disciple went also in, the one who had arrived in the tomb first, and he saw and believed, for did not yet understand the scripture that he had to rise from the dead. The Gospel of the Lord. In the early Christian community, during Easter season, as they see each other, they would only say, The Lord is risen! Alleluia! Alleluia! Anong sagot nyo? Mukhang naluya ka agad. The response is, Truly He is risen! Alleluia! Alleluia! Paki ulit. Truly He is risen! Alleluia! Alleluia! So let us proclaim, The Lord is risen! Alleluia! Alleluia! 
should be truly His reason. Alleluia, alleluia. O pakibata yung katabi niya, the Lord is reason. Tingnan natin kung anong sagot. Go. The Lord is reason. Alleluia, alleluia. Anong sagot? Truly. That should be our proclamation in the next few days. Until we celebrate Pentecost, there is no other way than a proclamation, a shout, as well as a joy that the Lord is risen. And therefore, let us assure that we are men and women of Easter, men and women of experience. The Lord is risen in our midst. And today, let us celebrate. Are you ready to celebrate? Yes. This is our celebration. Looking at you all in white, I see you came from the tomb. <laughs> no, the tomb of our sinfulness, the tomb of our pride. Ready to go with the Lord, ready to rise with Him, because there is no other way than to be open to the horizon of God. This is our mystery. This is our proclamation. This is our joy. That's why we are here today. No one should be sad, but each one's lips should be bedding smile. You should be smiling and happy. Are you happy? Yes. Nawala na yung joy ninyo. <laughs> today, it's Easter Day. You know, for the last days, from Palm Sunday, when I saw a throng of people, when I see Christians, when I see their busy life in the Lord, in the church, they touch me most. Why? I said, thanks be to God, we have this Holy Week. But above all, I say today, thanks be to God, we have the Easter story of Christ. We have Christ who has been risen from the dead and becomes the reason of our life, the reason why we are here today. The Lord is the reason of our own being. Amen. Amen. Oh, palakpakan niyo ang Panginoon for that. So what does it mean today for us? To celebrate the Easter day. To celebrate this wonderful day. The greatest mystery of our faith. For Paul would say, without this resurrection of the Lord, our faith is nothing. Our faith is in vain. And therefore, we can only proclaim to the world, this is it. What the Lord has done for us. But I would like to take the author's way of saying, let us call ourselves Easter men and women. Are you Easter men and women? Yes. Very nice. What does it mean to say Easter men and women? It's another than first to celebrate our victory. Today, each one is victorious. Today, each one is triumphant. You and me, we have been triumphant because of Christ, not of our own merit. Because left to ourselves, we remain in our sinfulness. But thanks be to God, because of Him, let us savor our victory. Let us savor our triumph. And therefore, we can say, in this world of pain, sufferings, and struggles, even injustice, we can still be triumphant because we are Easter men and women. We celebrate our victory. O, pakisabi nga, I am victorious. I am victorious. O, yung kanan, you are a winner. You are a winner. O, sa kabila, pakisabi, salamat, nagbago ka na. <laughs> Why I put that one? A very curious, but perhaps a very innocent question of a child that said, Father, did Christ receive justice? When he was killed Good Friday, sabi niya, he was so good, he loved us so much, he worked miracles. Why did they kill him? Did they receive justice? I wanted to tell him, Come on Easter Sunday, because that is the justice, the righteousness of God. That even no sin from our sinfulness, He died, He gave Himself. Perhaps an injustice, but the resurrection becomes a story of a righteousness and justification. He did receive, that truly we can only say, all of us are victorious in Him. And therefore, when we are victorious in God, in the resurrection of the Lord, there should be no room for that injustice anymore, but rather we give what is due, what is right to others. We can proclaim we are Easter men and women. Amen. Amen. sa kanan mo, no more injustice. No more injustice. Sure yan, ha? Sure yan, ha? Baka dito lang yan. Baka dito lang. Pangalawa, what does it mean for us to be called men and women of Easter? I put in the language of new life. Today we are here because we wanted to say there is new life for each one of us. I want to put it to myself. Why? I would like simply to say thank you, Lord, for what you have given. 
amidst my sinfulness, amidst my weakness, there comes the resurrection of the Lord that comes Easter that allows me to go on, move on, and discover the beauty of the resurrection. And that beauty of resurrection gave me newness of life. Something should have changed. And something has changed. May nagbago ba? O pakita nga sa kanan mo, anong nagbago sa'yo? O sa kaliwa, pakisabi, mukhang hindi ka pa nagbago. No? <laughs> Why I put that one, is there men and women that are experience of the newness or the discovery of life? That when we discover resurrection, we can only see the light. And when there is the light, no more room for darkness. Last Good Friday, I was so touched when the passion was read, and when Jesus said, Judas, will be, you betray me for a kiss? Kisses should have been the real reason for betrayal, but in that time it became. But still, moving on, Jesus proclaimed, forgive them, for they did not know. That in the book of Pope Francis, the name of God is mercy. Then we are renewed. We are made clean, clean, cleansed from our sin because of that mercy. And therefore, there is only newness for us. Easter men and women, because we are renewed by the Lord. Binago tayo ng Panginoon. And there could be no other proclamation, no other story more wonderful than the Lord renewing us. Making you white again. But not only the white that you are having, but inside, because that conversion, hearts are made pure for God. Nasalkang ganda ng BLD. Breaking lives for the divine. And you conclude with LTO in love, thanksgiving, and obedience. I guess that's perfect. Renewing of life. O palakpakan niyo ang Panginoon for that. There are no other stories than to break our lives. That only the divine can break into us because when we are left to ourselves, we remain in our sinfulness and pride. But when the divine break in, our lives become a story of God. But we need to cooperate, to love more and more because He loved us. To thank Him more and more because we are all blessed. But in thanksgiving, that we have to remain obedient because Christ, who is God, He became obedient, now giving Himself for the will of God, for the will of the Father. What happens? This is it. We are here, renewed by the love of God. And therefore, the Easter is a continuous invitation to conversion until we find Him home in the home of the Father. Last Holy Monday, I had a funeral. Funeral of a 19-year-old guy who met an accident in a motorcycle. But what was touching, you know, everybody was in tears, almost everybody. But then I heard this brother, almost nine-year-old, saying, Kuya, what would be life when you are gone? How I wish I could like be the Lord and say, Arise, rise up, and go back to life. But I don't have perhaps the faith. I don't have the faith. I saw them crying. I sent them off. I wanted to cry as well. But at the end, the other brother came. Father, we will bring him to the cemetery for his resting place. But we will try to go there every day as much as we can in order to see his resurrection. But I wanted to hear and say, if the tomb would not open these days, Father, for him, then we look forward in the life of heaven where we will be with each other. A story of faith because I would feel they have believed in the resurrection. Amen. Amen. So are you believers of the resurrection? Yes. yes. That's why we are called men and women. Newness of life is there. Perhaps we might not have all in this world. We might not discover everything. But the resurrection allows us to a path, to a direction that is sure because it recalls of who we are, men and women of faith 
and our life belongs to the Lord, and therefore eternal life for us. For God so loved the world that He gave His only begotten Son, Pakidagdag, that whoever believes in Him shall have life everlasting. But like Mary Magdalene, we have to run to the tomb. Like Mary Magdalene, we have to see our heart with a sincerity of being and say, Lord, I wanted to do more. Perhaps we go to the tomb simply to offer. But it encourages us all the more, invites us to go and believe as Mary Magdalene. Pranganda, di ba? When he did not saw, when he saw the open tomb, she did not go in, but ran to tell. She grew, she had all her fears. But nawala si Lord. Nawala si Lord. A fear that would continue to haunt him. But thanks be to God, Peter and John came running, assuring her, let us run, let us rediscover, let us see what had happened. And there the story again continues. Resurrection day, yes, but we will have still our fears like Mary Magdalene. We still go around perhaps with our sinfulness, but hopefully we'll find apostles in our life and story. And like John, when he saw, he believed. And like Peter, to come in inside and rediscover again the greatness of Christ in our life. That really we can say, Easter men and women, worth and worthy of the death of Christ. Pero ang ganda ng introduction. At the end, the Easter is an other than a challenge for us to die as well for others, like the Lord. Are you ready to die for others? Yes. Ah, wala na kayong sagot. <laughs> ang ganda ng sabi niyo kaya, happy Easter. Pero when I ask you, are you ready to die? Yes. Ah, parang maganda yan. Husband, are you ready to die for your wife? Yes. Yung yes nyo na ang lalim ng pinanghugutan. Wife, are you ready to die for your husband? Yes! Hmm, wala. <laughs> you see? Iba, no? Iba. Iba yung istorya. But is it a challenge to me? Why? Around us still, so many are being crucified. So many are being still haunted by injustices. But we see Eastern men and women, this is our task now. The time of Christ and His human life and story was finished, but you are the continuation. We are the continuation. And we should never stop until death because that's the only way. And so when we fill our hearts with love, then we can only say, we are challenged by the resurrection. We became bearers of that light, that Pascal candle we continue holding on until hopefully the world around us would experience peace, forgiveness, healing from woundedness and made whole once more. Brothers and sisters, the Easter has made us whole. A story from our being broken to wholeness. A story from our being sinful to being forgiven. A story from being our sick, now we come to light. A story from darkness, now we see the light. And a story of hopelessness to a new hope. Because Christ is there. Christ is there. Looking back when I saw you, Sayang ganda, BLD, and truly as such, bukas loob. Easter is a continuous opening of what's inside to a God who invites us, to the Lord who is always there. Tomorrow, I'm afraid we might forget this is Easter day and go back to the same story of our corruption and sinfulness. Hopefully not anymore. Promise? Promise niyo wala talaga. <laughs> oh, pakisabi nga, Lord, promise, magbago na ako. Lord, pakisabi? Oh, pakisabi sa misis mo, ako na magbago para sa iyo. Sige nga. <laughs> Hirap, ano? But you know, I would like to say, at the end, Easter is not simply an emotional commemoration. But that it now becomes a conviction and a choice. That when I call myself Easter men and women, Every day is a choice for God, for what is best, for myself, for my family, and for the world. And that Easter today becomes meaningful on the extraordinary jubilee year of mercy, when your name now is mercy and Easter, because you are bearers of the love and the resurrection of the Lord. 
Pakisabi sa kanan mo, you are Easter. Singa? You are sa kaliwa, pakisa, you are mercy. You are mercy. Oh, wala na kayong ibang pangalan, na Easter and mercy only. And that the world will know that Christ is there. That the world will know that God simply does not abandon us. That God is still the one who is the architect of our life. To each one of you, let us go back to the Eucharist. Our everyday and every Sunday proclamation. When we go back to the Eucharist, we see the Lord who had been raised for each one of us. Our God who has loved us so much. Happy Easter and God be with you. Palakpakan natin ang Panginoon. We will now renew our baptismal promises. And this is our commitment once more to live our life as Easter men and women. Victorious, renewed, but above all challenged for a mission. Dear brothers and sisters, to the Paschal mystery, we had been buried with Christ in baptism so that we may walk with him in newness of life. And so now that our Lenten observance is concluded, let us renew the promises of holy baptism by which we once renounced Satan and his works and promise to serve God in the Holy Catholic Church. And so I ask you, do you renounce Satan? I do. And all his works? I do. And all his empty promises? I do. Do you believe in God the Father Almighty, creator of heaven and earth? I do. Do you believe in Jesus Christ, his only Son, our Lord, who was born of the Virgin Mary, suffered death and was buried? rose again from the dead and seated at the right hand of the Father? I do. Do you believe in the Holy Spirit, the Holy Catholic Church, the communion of saints, the forgiveness of sins, the resurrection of the body, and life everlasting? I do. And may Almighty God, the Father of our Lord Jesus Christ, who has given us new birth by water and the Holy Spirit, and bestowed on us forgiveness of our sins, keep us by His grace in Christ Jesus, our Lord, for eternal life. Amen. Amen. When you receive the holy water, just make a sign of a cross. Christ is the Lord of life, raised by the Father. In turn, He will raise us up by His power. Let us address our petitions to the Heavenly Father as we pray. Father, we beseech You, hear us. Father, we beseech You, hear us. May the Church proclaim with all courage Your Son's victory to a world living in sin in agony and in fear, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May the ecclesiastical and government leaders die to their personal interests so that like the Good Shepherd, they may serve your people faithfully, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May all the baptized believers die to their sins and live up to their dignity as children of God, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May there be new hope and life for our nation through clean, honest, and credible elections and the advent of a capable and principled leadership, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. May the faithful departed share in the Christ's glorious resurrection, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us, that the healing grace of God may purify those who have died, especially the sponsors, benefactors, and cooperators of the TV mass production, we pray. Father, we beseech you, hear us. In the silence of our hearts, we pray for our personal intentions. Father, your Son conquered the power of death, that our celebration today raise us up and renew our lives. Through Jesus, our Lord, who lives and reigns with you forever and ever. Amen. Amen. There is a
Pray, brethren, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the grace and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy church. Exultant with Paschal gladness, O Lord, we offer the sacrifice by which your church is wondrously reborn and nourished through Christ our Lord. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is really right and just, our duty and our salvation, at all times to acclaim you, O Lord. But on this day, above all, to laud you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. For he is the true lamb has taken away the sins of the world. By dying has destroyed our death and by rising restored our life. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exalts in your praise and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts and together an ending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. Indeed, Holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness, make holy therefore these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered will into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it, and gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, 
uh, once more giving thanks, he gave his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it, for this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, so he poured out for and for many, for the forgiveness of sins, do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. When we eat this bread and drink this cup, we proclaim your death, O oh Lord, until you come again, until you. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ begun to one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity. Together with Francis, our Pope, Romulo and George, our bishops, and all the clergy, Remember also our brothers and sisters have fallen asleep in the hope of their resurrection, and all have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the Blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with Blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the Blessed Apostles, with Saint Anthony, Saint Hannibal, and all the saints have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs with eternal life, may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Sa pamamagitan ni Kristo, kasama niya at sa Kanya, ang lahat ng paranghal at papuri ay sa iyo, Diyos amang makapangyarihan kasama ng Espiritu Santo. Magpasawalang hanggan. Jesus has reconciled us to the Father, and truly we say and celebrate our victory, our newness, and our new sense of mission. To the Father, therefore, we pray the prayer Jesus taught us.
save us, Lord, we pray from every evil. Gracious and grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy be always free from sin, safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously and grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us celebrate this day by giving to each other the sign of peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed is called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. Let us pray. Look upon your church, O God, with unfailing love and favor, so that renewed by the Paschal mysteries, she may come to the glory of the resurrection through Christ our Lord. Amen. In the name of our Sunday TV Mass, and for where we are coming from, I would like to greet you all. Happy Easter, as well as your families with the recent prayer that will sustain the momentum of this day of really going back to the Lord. Before BLD, LTO, you are Easter men and women, <laughs> breaking lives in the divine through love, thanksgiving, and obedience. So I thank the BLD group for this moment for being here. We thank the LTO as well for taking time to be with us 
it's so nice to be with you. And I would feel this is the first time this place is filled with so much people who had been raised from the dead. Amen. No? <laughs> so palakpakan po natin ang Panginoon. Happy Easter. To our sick brothers and sisters at home, happy Easter as well to each one of you. I know your sufferings and pains would still mean Passion Week, but believe there is God who will never abandon you. Our prayers and our love for you as well, and our clappings would be meant for each one of you for that sense of hope and life. Palakpakan po natin sila as they are at home. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may Almighty God bless you, the Father and the Son and the Holy Spirit. Amen. Go in the peace of Christ. Alleluia. Alleluia. Thanks be to God. Alleluia. Alleluia. Very good. Happy Easter. Let's go.